You only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. Only hate the road when you're missing home. You only know you love her when you let her go. But you let her go. Uh, uh, look. See, I remember when I met you as a sophomore. Started out as friends. Hey people, it's me Red and today I have a life hack. We have a life hacks video. So I'll be doing 10 life hacks for your American girl dolls. Um, I've been using these hacks for a while. Some of them are a bit controversial which means you can, well, you'll see what I mean by that later on in the video. So today I have L'Oreal and McKenna with us today. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed the video, please comment, like and subscribe and let's get on to today's video. So for the first life hack, this one is, do you ever get it when like your doll's hair is always in the way and everything and you don't have like a doll sized headband or anything like that? All you need is a hair tie or a hair bubble depending on where you're from and all you need you can get these in different colors and everything and these are so like they're amazing people so all you need to do is this will act as like a mini doll let's try this from a different angle okay so we'll try it from this angle so all you need to do is put the hair bubble over your doll's hair just like you would a headband on a human just stuck the hair out from underneath depending on how long your doll hair is and then just lift it up, don't lift it up so it goes completely over the head but just lift it so all the hair is behind it adjust it a little and then there's a doll headband and you can get them in different colours sometimes you can even get patterned ones or glittery ones for Christmas okay so I know we've all been there when you're doing a stop motion and your doll just decides to fall over or whatnot. Okay, I just went through it right now. She just won't stand up straight. And how I get my doll to stand up straight is I put the arms so they're parallel facing the ground. And then I always arch the back. Not a lot, just a little. So the back is arched. So I don't know if you can see. The back is slightly arched, but it's not arched enough for you to show for like definite. And her arms are parallel to the ground. This helps with the whole state, like how stable your doll. And it's ten times easier, I found, if you just arch the back and she's not relaxing on anything. And yeah. Okay, so this is rather controversial. This is what I meant. So this hack is basically for people if you live in a country where you can't get American gun dolls. More or less, this is for the UK. So how do you get dolls in the UK? I've had a question like this for ages. How come I have like 17 dolls yet I live in the UK? So how to get dolls? The main websites I get these off are Gumtree and eBay. To get dolls you can get the best bargains and as most of you guys know I got Lainey for £30 which is really really cheap. McKenna 60 pounds she's like she's a lot of money so to get a mckenna for six pounds is beyond me l'oreal 60 pounds you know you can get really good deals on the internet that's where i get my dolls from it saves a lot of money so to get them imported in from america doll finds so the next one like if you don't have enough money to buy stuff from american girl which i don't sadly uh, the best places that I find mini doll items are the Poundland, which is like um, like the dollar store for you Americans, but for me it's called Poundland. That's where I find a lot of mini doll stuff, it could be like in the party section, that's it. You know like uh, if you go to a party and afterwards you get a little bag full of mini stuff, yeah. This one's pretty much like the last one, but for doll pets, um, I just use stuffed toys. So, uh, Webkins, they're like stuffed animals, so I use them. Uh, you can just buy little teddy bears that resemble animals, they're always a great effort. So I don't know, I have never been in this situation, but have you ever wanted to get a retired doll or a, or a historical doll? You know, a doll that isn't out anymore, but 
who can't find one for the exact right price. American Girl have done this very, very clever thing, which I have a bit of a superstition on, but I'm not going to go into that today because it's pretty creepy. What I mean is, um, my Truly Me, some of the Truly Me dolls, if you look carefully enough, look a lot like the historical dolls or retired dolls. So I found that out like with Ruthie, there's one that looks like her, there's one that looks like Gwen, Best Friend to Gotti 2009, Krista, you know, there are so many that look like dolls that you can't get nowadays and they are all so amazing, sometimes I get so confused, but if you just look, just try and have a quick look, you might be surprised, there's one uh, that looks a lot like Emily, she always tricks a lot of people out and uh, yeah, just always always have a look, you never know. Is how to pierce your doll's ears. Um, one, when I got Annie and Lainey, I pierced their ears with a pin. And all you do is you get a thumbtack and you press it into your doll's ear and then you can get a human earring and put it in. This just saves a lot of hassle, either go to the American Girl or place to get done professionally, send in the doll to a doll hospital, it just saves a lot of time. Also on Kaylee Ray, who I didn't pierce her ears, her previous owner did, the one for me, and um, yeah, Annie and Lainey have their ears pierced, but I've, I don't put earrings in because I don't have any earrings for them currently. So this next one's going to be a bit of a tutorial, um, in the next bit I'm going to show you what happens how you can fix your doll's vinyl when it gets really squishy so i don't know if anybody's been through this situation but i have if it's a really warm day and i know it's like 10 times warmer in america and you leave your doll in a really warm room sometimes their vinyl can go really soft um please don't panic but how to make sure the doll vinyl doesn't get affected any worse or if you're really worried and just want to get it sorted if that ever happens uh, here's a life hack on how you can harden it quicker or to make sure that nothing bad happens to the vinyl. Okay, so this, I know you can see my knee button. So this does work for the arms as well, but I'm just doing it on legs. Uh, McKenna's vinyl isn't curly squishy, but um, I'm just doing it anyway. Just to show you guys what you need to do. So all you need is a towel and a tissue that is like wringing wet but freezing cold and then you need to put it exactly onto where the vinyl is make sure you don't hit the body cloth because then that gets all wet yeah and then you wrap it around so it like holds in place like so okay and the towel is just to put the thing on you might want to trail something okay so as for this next one this one can be used in the spot motion, I guess. I mean, I think this is what most people use it for. But all you're going to need, I know this is a brand new set of hair elastics, but I don't mean for you to go to the shops and buy a brand new set of hair elastics. I got this for my own personal use, but you know, you get the drift. So just get some hair elastics, dark or not. Sorry, the filters are going a bit funny and I could just hear this rumbling sound outside, I just wanted to know what it was. Anyway, you can take uh, talk uh, you can take a dark or light hair elastic, so I don't know because my filters are being really funny again. There you can see. So I'm going to take one. And if your doll is holding something in the stop motion, but you want it to be a bit more easy, I'm just going to do it behind the camera and then I'll show you. Just take your clear hair, elastic or dark, and put it around your doll's hand. But it might just be for an action, maybe. And you can't see it that well, I mean. And plus in a stop motion, it's only for like a split second. But as you can see, it just holds the doll's hand out more easy, and it just works better. And another controversial one is if you have a lot of dolls. If you have five, you don't necessarily need this one. But this is how to remember all of your dolls' names. Now, I have 17 dolls. I know that's a lot, and I'm planning to get another one at Christmas time. Please, no judging people. Um, 
I have a lot of dolls, I have 17. If someone was to come up to me and say, Red, how many dolls, uh, what are all your dolls' names? I wouldn't be able to do it unless they had this little rhyme. Well, it's not a rhyme, it's just a way to remember all of my dolls' names. Now, I wouldn't just be able to see them randomly. I have to see them in the order of which I got them in. So, this is for instance, this is all my dolls in the order that I got them in. Annie, Lainey, Laurie, L, Gracie, Kit, Emily, Violet, Mel Melanie, Matt, Alex, um, Nikki, Lizzie, Kaylee, Leah, McKenna, Julie. So, yeah, I know I got a little bit stuck, so I always remember, is it Melanie, P, or what? I, I just get confused with that one, but um, you see what I'm trying to say? So, you always should have a rhyme on how to remember all your dolls' names. It's a lot simple and like I said my rhyme is just remember them in which order I got them in so my friends this is it once again thank you so much for watching this video I really really hope you enjoyed it um we're on 558 subscribers we were on 559 but again a subscriber um unsubscribed yeah it didn't get to me I was just like Mm -mm, no, mm -mm. but I know you guys are, I don't really mind, it doesn't get to me anymore, but um, we are getting to our goal of 600 subscribers and then a music video will come out, I haven't done one of them in months because I've been scared of copyright, this time we won't get copyrighted, so, to be honest I don't know what that sound is, I don't know if you guys can hear it as well. I don't know if you can hear like a rumbling sound, I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, um, I have nothing else to say apart from uh, if I don't do a video tomorrow, which I may or may not do, I don't know, have a lovely Friday and just have a lovely rest of your day, depending on which time zone you're in, just have a lovely day, have a lovely evening, have a lovely morning, you get it, yeah, no, it might even be in the future when you're watching this, so have a lovely future. Yum word. Okay, bye for now, people, and I will see you soon. Love you all. Bye for now, guys. Bye. Red and McKenna and Laurie L out.